Hi, this is Norm Haney from 1340 WBGN, and this is the third installment of Beyond the Norm for BuyLocalBG.com. Western Kentucky at home this weekend, taking on Indiana State. The Hilltoppers are in search of their first win of the season. Uh, no need to panic if you're a WKU fan. If you looked at the schedule when it first came out, you had to figure beating UK and Navy uh, would be a pretty tall task. So uh, no reason to panic. The Hilltoppers look good. And the week one loss to UK and Nashville, uh, not so much last week, but Navy's a good football team, uh, so nothing, uh, nothing to be ashamed of there. But this week, they should get the win. I mean, they're taking on a former Gateway opponent from back in the 1AA days. Indiana State um, is a 1AA team. They don't have as much talent, so Western Kentucky should be able to come out of this game with a win. Uh, the Hilltoppers do have a little bit of a quarterback controversy brewing. Uh, between Kwan Jakes and Brandon Doughty. Uh, I think that uh, Willie Taggart has an opportunity this week to uh, sort that out. I would, and I'm not the coach, but if I was, I'd play both of them this week. And uh, the guy that comes out uh, maybe playing the best or looks the most impressive would get the start um, against Arkansas State in two weeks. I think uh, with, with them having a bye week next week before the Sunbelt Conference opener, uh, Taggart has an opportunity to, to give Dottie, if he is the new starter, an opportunity to have an extra week of preparation. And let's face it, the sun, winning the Sunbelt is the goal at the beginning of the year. That goal is still in front of them. So uh, no need to panic. I think you got an opportunity this week to sort some of that stuff out and go for that first win of the season. Also taking place in the Commonwealth, you have the Battle for the Governor's Cup featuring Louisville and Kentucky from Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington. The Cats right now 2-0. Um, have not looked that impressive in those two games, but really put it together in the second half of their win last week over Central Michigan. The offense really got going, and, and for the most part, the defense has played well this season. So that's been a bright spot is new uh, defensive coordinator Rick Mentor coming in and uh, giving the Cats a little bit of swagger. Now granted, uh, things could look a lot different uh, when they open up SEC play next next week with Florida, but um, uh, Kentucky hopefully going to capitalize on some of that momentum. Uh, quarterback Morgan Newton really got things going and they uh, established a pretty impressive run game in that second half last week. Now Louisville on the other hand is coming off a loss at home to Florida International. Uh, of course, Louisville's in the Big East, which is one of those BCS automatic qualifying conferences. They shouldn't be losing at home to a team out of the Sun Belt. Now, uh, no slide against the Sun Belt. Florida International won a bowl game last year. They were the uh, preseason pick to win the Sun Belt Conference this season and have some uh, great athletes on the offensive side of the ball, and Louisville found that out firsthand last week. So the Cardinals struggling. Um, again, they didn't look good in their week one win over Murray State, a 1AA opponent. So uh, Kentucky about a touchdown favorite in this game. And if they can uh, pick up where they left off in the second half last week, I'd expect Kentucky to win this game over Louisville. Uh, high school football. Got a nice matchup Friday night over at Money Beard Field as Bowling Green plays host to Owensboro, two of uh, the traditional uh, powers in the state of Kentucky. And this is the 70th meeting between the Purples and the Devils, so um, always fun when those two teams hook up and they have a pretty long-standing rivalry. Those games usually mean something when they hook up. Bowling Green is the number one team in the state right now, so um, they on paper look like a much better football team than Owensboro, but hey, it's a rivalry game, anything can happen. Uh, with that said, I would expect the Purples to come out and take care of business, much like they have uh, the last few weeks when they picked up uh, very nice wins. Uh, over Henderson County and St. Xavier. So Bowling Green, Coach Kevin Wallace, they're rolling right now and certainly look uh, worthy of their number one ranking in Class 5A. The WBGN Game of the Week will be out at South Warren as the Spartans still in search of their first ever varsity win. They'll play host to Edmondson County. We covered South Warren last week when they were on the road at Ray Stadium in Russellville and played well. They competed had some mistakes down the stretch that cost them a win or at least a chance to, to get that win. So they have a little bit of momentum to build off of. And, and Mark Nelson, uh, you know, building that program from scratch, uh, certainly going to have his kids ready to play on their home field. You can catch the game on 1340 AM. Our pregame show begins at 630. And uh, don't forget, you can go to 1340WBGN.com and catch the game streaming live. And we've also teamed up with iHi and you can catch a live video feed 
of the game as well. So our game of the week, all kinds of uh, coverage angles there. I uh, also want to mention that October 14th, if you're a high school football fan, you need to circle that date. That's when Warren Central will come to Bowling Green to take on the Purples, both teams, uh, top five teams in Class 5A. And since Mike Rogers got to Bowling Green, or since he got to Warren Central, uh, he hasn't lost to the Purples. And they pulled off some upsets in that series, and it's uh, kind of heightened what was already a pretty good rivalry there. Also want to mention congratulations to Matt Moore. He was uh, with the Bowling Green Hot Rods during their inaugural season a few years back. He got called up to the Tampa Bay Rays, making him the first ever Hot Rod to get called up and make it to the big leagues. He made his debut yesterday and uh, did good. Pitched for, I think, a, a, an inning and two-thirds, re retired the first four batters. He did give up a home run. It was kind of a welcome to the big league moment for more, but uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to see some of these Bowling Green Hot Rods uh, start being called up to the major leagues, and uh, Matt Moore's the first, so congratulations to him and uh, to the Bowling Green Hot Rods. It's a big moment for them as well. And uh, finally, I want to talk about the Tennessee Titans. That is our uh, local team here in South Central Kentucky. Lose their opener on the road to the Jacksonville Jaguars, and uh, the Matt Hasselback era didn't get off to a, a very good start. Uh, you know, he didn't play bad, but you know they only scored 14 points. And generally in the NFL, uh, you got to do a little more than that to, to win a football game. Chris Johnson looked um, sluggish as expected. He's coming off the long holdout. Didn't play in the preseason. He struggled. Uh, you have to imagine his production will, will, will grow as the season goes along, but. Uh, he struggled, and um, the only guy that really didn't struggle was Kenny Britt, the wide receiver who had a lot of off-season issues, uh, off-the-field issues this off-season uh, with the law, and I think a lot of people were uh, questioning what, what, what he would be like, but man, he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL last week, so Kenny Britt played well. Maybe the rest of the Tennessee Titans offense uh, will follow his lead this week as they take on the Baltimore Ravens. At LP Field in Nashville Sunday, the Ravens picked up a dominating win in week one over Pittsburgh. And um, not the easiest opponent to open up at home. So I think we're going to learn a lot about the Tennessee Titans this week as they uh, have a tall task in taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Also want to mention, come out to Overtime Sports Bar and Grill this Monday night. That is the new home of the sports guys. We'll be out there doing the show live from 4 to 6 p.m. And we'll stick around during the game. We're going to give away all kinds of good stuff. We'll have uh, National Predators tickets, Western Kentucky football tickets. Uh, it's a lot of fun. 40 cent wings, $2 for a 16 ounce ice cold beer of the month, which happens to be Bud Light this month. Big thanks again to buylocalbg.com. I'm Norm Haney. That's our third installment of Beyond the Norm.